Go to the pen tool in the Finity Photos tool panel and click on the document. And then you get a straight line. Hold down the shift to get a nice straight line. Now you can up here and set the stroke to black, etc., or green, blue, etc. And also you can set the size. Let's just put it to about, well, you can put it 100. Initially, I'm going to change it later. But you can also go here for start and you can go down and you can see a whole variety. This one, circle solid. So circle solid, you get this lovely circle. Now you can change that. You can turn around and say, oh, I want that to be 200. So you can resize it. You can also go to this end one and you can gain, go there, circle solid. And you can put that to 200 as well or anything. Now you see they're together. Well, what you can do, of course, is you can resize. You can just drag that part. You can see you do that. Just go over here to the node tool. There's the node tool. And you can click on there. And then you can, if you want to, make it sort of like as if it's got a bend in the design as well. And you can create a variety of different designs that way. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, but you can resize these. Again, just go up here and you can change it. Maybe you decide, you know what, I want 200 for the actual thing. Of course, now it's combined again. But again, you can go over here and you can turn around and say, you know what, let's just put that to 75. And they're linked. You can have one bigger than the other one, 150, whatever. So you can create a variety of different things there. But I want it 75. So I've got that design. That's now my dumbbell design. However, I want to now fill it. Well, I can fill it. I can fill it with a gradient. So I'm just going to quickly go over here to the gradient tool. And I'm just going to select a gradient. And key thing here is context. Because it's got fill there. I don't know why it defaults to that since it's only got a stroke. It would make sense that it be default to what it's got, which is stroke. But you can set it to stroke and then just apply. Now, the default is not going to be the rainbow gradient, which would be nice. But you can go and click. Click over there in swatches and just put it there. So you've now got your colourful, super colourful gradient design applied to your dumbbell. And you can still tweak the dumbbell if you want. It's still live, so it's still editable. But you also, if you want to, just go down here. It's a layer. You can see it just says curve there. You can go to effects. And you can say layer effects. Now it applies the layer effects around the edge of this. So just go there to outline. You can turn around and say radius. So you can create a nice sort of dumbbell design there. Also 3D, just go for that, and you can just change that. And of course you can push it beyond that limit, so maybe go for 400. You don't have to go with, uh, and also you've got, of course, direction, you can modify direction. So you can create a variety of different designs that way. And also you can change the profile, so if you want to, you can change a variety of different profiles. You just go for the basic profile, and also Bevan Boss, whatever. You can run through a whole variety of different designs. And again, you can still, if you want to, just resize this design, maybe make that smaller if you feel that's not particularly a standard dumbbell shape. And of course, once you've got this, you can always go to layer and you can rasterize it. Maybe use it as a pattern layer, maybe use it as a brush stroke, etc. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.